what up? That's them. Hit squad. And welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And hey, your girl Mel. Yes, yes, yes. And guys, we are back with another video. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Today we'll be reacting to They're Eating the Dogs, Trump's False Claims at U.S. Debate Stir Up Fears in Small Ohio Town. Tell me it ain't so. Okay. Say it ain't so. So we were watching the debate and Trump, he made some claims about they're the eating the dogs, dogs and, and the, the cats. cats. So let's let's just get into this video, babe. First of all, let's just pray all over all the little pets all over the world. We just pray to God, keep them protected, keep a shield over them. I don't know what's going on in this world, but we need to get to the bottom of it. Let's see. All right. So guys, before we get into it, smash that like button, turn on all notifications. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, Here my go. love. Good energy, good content. Bam! Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Long before immigrants were accused of eating pets in Springfield, Ohio, there was a tragic car crash that turned into an uproar over immigration. Last year, a Haitian immigrant without a license drove a van into a bus, killing 11-year-old Aiden Clark. Wow. About a quarter of Springfield's 60,000 residents are... Re Hold on. Wow. So this right here sparked it up. So basically, there are Haitian immigrants flooding this town... No life. No the, license. The woman had no license and is driving a car, hit a bus, and kill a precious little baby boy. Who is allowing this? Goodness gracious. Guys, come on. Here. All right, come on. Here we wow. Go. Recent migrants from Haiti who've brought new economic potential to a Rust Belt city, but also sparked anger. We're not taking any more. Some residents are speaking out against the newcomers. Who's responsible for that? And who can stop them from coming? Then came social media claims that migrants were abducting, possibly eating pets. It was promoted by Republican J.D. Vance, then blared to 67 million viewers by Donald Trump. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. There have been no verified incidences. City officials say it didn't happen. Even the Republican governor dismisses it. Uh, they found no, no credible evidence uh, of that story uh, of Haitians eating pets. The original story came from another town, says the mayor, a woman who was arrested for animal cruelty. The news story regarding a cat being killed and consumed did not originate in Springfield. But 36 hours after Trump spoke, Springfield City Hall and other facilities had to be shut down after emailed bomb threats. No direct link to Trump's comments, what? but conspiracy theories can fuel online hate, then be set ablaze by politicians, says this professor. If people are not just scared of immigrants, you have to give them a reason to be scared. And this is why Donald Trump has tried to uh, use this term he calls migrant crime and trying to make people scared of immigrants. It's all left immigrants in Springfield on edge. For myself, I'm a little bit worried. I'm afraid too. And the hatred has infuriated the father of the young boy killed in that accident. My son, Aiden Clark, was not murdered. He was accidentally killed by an immigrant from Haiti. But don't spin this towards hate. And Nathan Clark calls politicians using his son to stoke hatred of migrants morally ah. bankrupt. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto. Okay, so let's dig into this. Wait a minute. Okay, so I'm just basically. To get understanding. Wow. The mom and dad are stepping up, letting everybody know, like, not to use his son's death. Name and death. You know. To stir to up, stir up the, hate with uh, immigrants. With the immigrants coming I over. mean, it can be pretty dangerous because some of these people you know are documented and but some are undocumented so it's like See, that's a the problem double-edged sword if you are here illegally it's that's that's the problem most definitely but if you have your paperwork and your visa card yes. whatever you have if you're an you immigrant know, to provide that you are you know here yeah legal it's all good but at the end of the day when you are driving a vehicle with no license you should be held accountable all day long. Wow, this is such a sad story. It's sad because someone lost their life. Most definitely. And we send condolences to that family that lost a son. Yes. But, um, you know, we're trying to get to the meat wow. and, and potatoes here. Like, what's really going on? Why use that um, if that's not the case or, or if it's not true? 
Right. Why most say definitely. that? Why even put that? I most definitely understand, but I think people are in fear of their lives because of the illegal, you know. I mean, this is just a mess. They're coming over here illegally. This, you know, this is crossing a mess. Crossing the border, there is no border control. And it's just starting so. to seem like a movie. So unfortunately, you know, there are good people who are going to be affected by what's going on with the border. I absolutely. mean, everyone isn't coming here illegally. Absolutely. You know, but unfortunately, but I think that we should have tight security. I think that we should have definitely tight security at the border. Most definitely. And um, I think everyone should feel safe. All yes. Americans should feel safe. People Most do definitely. not feel safe. Yes. And it's like this is creating a prop. The border control is creating a problem for those mig the immigrants, for the immigrants who are, you know, documented and they're afraid because wow. they don't want to be, you know, bullied or they don't want anyone to think it's them coming over here causing these problems. And they came over here the right way. So. Yeah, but it just seemed like it's America. It's like all eyes are on America. It seemed like, you know, I know this is, you know, the land of the free, but at the end of the day, you don't have people just walking over in Russia or, you know, any of these other countries. So it's like, you know, um, we need to tighten down. Most definitely. Tighten down. Let's get this thing control. under control before, you know, we lose all control. This is so sad and unfortunate that this little boy was killed by, you know, it. An immigrant driver who didn't have didn't a have license. license. That is most definitely a problem. And That's a I can understand why, you know, the neighborhood, <sighs> they are really tired and they are starting to stand up and protest and go, you know, and fight for their rights because As they should. if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. They should be frustrated. They have they every right um to speak out. Um and like I say, this is our country, you know, so we are the voices. The voices need to be heard. Most Regardless definitely. of anything. Most definitely. You know, so um, I just pray to God. It's a very sad situation. It, it, it is. Yes. And, um, you know, so even to throw the pets in there, like, like we really want to know the concrete evidence. So is this a this. conspiracy theory or is it true? Yeah, like you know, what's are going on people here? really eating cats and dogs? Guys, if you have any proof of that, please send us the video so we yeah. can react to it. Send us the link and we're gonna, you know, jump straight to it and react to it because we gotta bring this to the light. Most this definitely. is getting, you know, like really, really serious and really tight. Yeah. Because people can't sleep at night now. Yeah. You know, people don't feel safe going to work. People don't feel safe sending their kids to school. Yes. It's like a you know starting to be one big circus, and um, yes. we're the most powerful country. We need to get control of this most immediately. Definitely. You know yes. we have no more time. Most we definitely. have no more time to waste. Um, wow, this is serious. Yes. Woof. So we just wanted to address this just to get into it. You know, just to um, dig into it because um, as U.S. citizens, we deserve to know the truth. Yes. It's you know, we're all on edge about what's going on in the country. It is very, very scary. Yeah, especially around election time. Like, we need a leader and we need one fast. Yes, most That's in that right mind that's going to lead this country in, in the right direction. Yes. Regardless. And we have you know to stop saying? the hate. Yeah, you the know? hate. We have to stop all the hating. We got to take out the Come hate. Come together. Replace it with love. Because we all have to live here, you know. Yes. And until we come together, we're always going to have a problem. We're going to have a problem. We're going to be bumping heads. Let's do what's best for all of us. What's best for and the country not just and the people. One party. What's best yeah. for everyone. You know, yep. and all as this a whole, fighting and bickering and fighting and throwing people under the bus and digging up dirt and it's almost like children. Um, just you know, we got to have more professionalism when it comes down to who's going to run the country. Most definitely. That's what we want to see. Yes. You know? So, yeah. um, guys, go ahead and smash that like button, all right? Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Like my wife said, definitely get inside the comment section. Most definitely. Let us know, guys. 
what you think, how you feel about this. And guys, if you have that video of someone eating cats and dogs send in it. Springfield, please send us that video. I want to see this. Because I want to know, are, are our know. animals safe? What is going on in here? Because you know, we got a cat named Metallica that's part of this family. We love Goodness. her deeply. Yes, let us know something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, come on now. Come on now. We got to keep it yes. 100. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, may God continue to bless us all. We signing off. Here's your boy Sean and your girl Mel. Yes, yes, yes. All right, guys. Have an amazing day Bye. on purpose. Hell to the air. Peace. Peace.